Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Solar Ash. So we're on the slightly brighter side, well actually quite a bit brighter side of the cloud tower structure in uh, Mirror Lake? Mirror Sea, no, oh, close. And we'll see how far we can climb this one. Seems like pretty far, far enough for sure. Can we actually just jump over there? We might. Oh, wait. Reset? Oh, we can reset this. Why would we want to reset this? I don't know. Oh, wait, this is electric. Um, that is interesting. That is also electric. Hmm. Oh, wow, I also didn't realize I was at super low health. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, this is... It's electric now. It's electric after we hit the button, which I guess makes sense. So let's see where this leads us before we hit it. Okay. It leads us to the jump pad. Or grav pad, I think they called it. But... Ah, okay. So we travel... Yeah, that makes sense. That does make sense, doesn't it? Well... It will make sense if it actually turns out that after hitting both buttons, neither of the rails are going to be electrified. So now we can do this. Do this. Okay, good. This one is not electrified. We can hit this one. Yeah, and now the graph pad is active, but we can't still use the, the rails. Otherwise, we would have been in trouble. There is plasma here that I'll gladly take. Oh, what are you guys doing? Noticing me and then not actually attacking? Fine by me. We can open this barrier here. Which I guess means... No, we were up there. Yeah, let me just jump back up there just to see. Oh, there's a safe point here that we did activate without even knowing. We also unlock a shortcut. Yes. Right back to the start of the area, I think. I can see the... Yep, I can see the save point, actually. Okay, good. Anything else up here? Not immediately. Where is... The remnant? Oh, right there. Right over there. Okay. I mean, I saw the black ooze, but I thought it looked like the harmless kind. Also, it didn't look like there was a whole lot of it, but apparently it's enough. Okay, of course we have a couple of these bigger guys. I think both of them are the uh, ground spikers, as I guess I'm calling them. Not the chargers. Okay, let's see here. Obviously we want to follow these plasma guides. Now, if we hit this, there is a second switch, but yeah, we do electrify that. Surely, switch, surely solving this little mini puzzle here will be crucial to, uh, to actually dealing with the remnant in the area. So I'm going to hit this one and head in the opposite direction, like so. Assuming that this is going to lead us to success. Wow, that guy just perfectly anticipated where I was going to be. Pretty amazing. Okay. I unfortunately did not catch where... Oh, no, never mind. We want to be there. So... Yeah, we w would have actually been fine, wouldn't we? If I hadn't veered to this platform and instead just followed the path where it naturally led me. Wow, this, this guy is just the worst! And I landed on the stuff while it was still there. Okay, he wasn't dead. Wait. I'm not dead either. I... I I thought for sure I was in the process of dying. Well then. <laughs> anyway. Now he's down there, where I guess he's not really doing anything. In the existence of these things... Oh yeah, there's another one. Right over there. So I guess we actually... Hmm. Oh. We actually just travel there... Like so. 
allowing us to activate the the other mushroom. Well, now I'm calling it a mushroom suddenly. Can I maybe make up my mind? Okay, actually, it just huh? There, yeah, the other anemone from right here. It's down there. We haven't been there. Could we have? Could we have gone there? Hard to hard to gauge how far above the cloud level it is. Actually, it seems not very far at all. Not at all. But that's not the entrance. Or is it, actually? Maybe it is. Is it? Maybe? Well, I'm... I'm not sure. No, actually, I think this is just the other side of it that we happened to see when we were... when we uh, took a quick look at this. Well, I was still expecting to actually deal with the other side first. Okay, well, that's suboptimal, to say the least. We do have a quick way back up, so I'm not... I wasn't worried about dropping down here. Where's this one going to go? Into the wall. Yeah, that's not helpful. Maybe I have to send it more, like, this way? That might be... Yeah, that seems more useful. Pretty dangerous, though, but I guess for a few hundred plasma, it's worth it. 3,800, yeah. We're actually gonna start the the fight against this, this area's big remnant with uh, quite a bit more um, extra plasma than we did the last one, so that's reassuring. Hmm, we can definitely make it up here if we redirect this this tendril the other way. Just for completion's sake, though, what's up here? I mean, this is back towards the beginning, surely. I mean, yes. All right, good. I mean, it seems like this this might actually allow us to go all the way up. Oh, this is probably not what I wanted. Oh, well, maybe. Yeah, it does... Uh, it does almost allow me to go up there. Almost, but not quite. Maybe I could have made it. But I didn't quite get the angle right, because, you know... Because acid. Okay, that's more like it. Is there anything up on that mushroom? Guess not. Looks like there's something on the other side of that oh. waterfall. What? Oh. Is that so? Okay. Surely that's the way we're intended to go from here. Interesting. Oh, this is the way down to the other side. Isn't it? Yep, sure enough. Wow, called it. Okay. I mean, obviously, I don't know. I mean, I'm here now. I guess I could fall to the other side and finish that area first. Nah, that's silly. This is, it's easy enough to get back here. It's good to know, though. Surely not what I expected at all. Yeah. I thought this might just be an alternate way up to the main plateau here, but... Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Okay, good. Wow. Oh. I really didn't think I'd be able to make it. Is that another plasma crystal? Yeah. Sure is, isn't it? Did we get it? Yep. Sure did. Awesome. This one, I think, wasn't worth it as much as they typically are, but, you know, I'll take it. Can we make it? Well, yeah, we obviously can make it around this way because it's just safe clouds. Okay. Also, as, as it turns out, this is quite a bit of a longer way than I thought it was, but no problem. Here's a shortcut. Right, and now, without further ado, we actually hit this thing, thrust ourselves to the to the railing, both of the railings, actually. I suspect we... Uh, actually, the timer was kind of kind of tight here. I was going to say that we might have been able to make it with only one of the two uh, you know, railings activated. 
extended. But that actually might have been too tight in hindsight. Okay. Right, we activated the jump pad. Yeah, which seems like that's gonna be necessary to get to the the end of the the remnant deactivation sequence here. Not seeing any any signs of a, of a cache in this area though, which is a little bit surprising considering we're well we have three remnants remaining and also three uh, caches, so you you know it would make sense to have one near a cache near each oh remnant. Okay, so I guess just keep mashing attack while, yeah, doing this. Okay, awesome. <laughs> I mean, this one wasn't difficult. Once again, the, the actual puzzle involved not just the, the remnant sequence itself, but the way leading up to it. Right, so we got the stuff dissolving. Oh, we're all the way, way up here. Anyway. Neat. Remnants of what? Hmm, yeah. And that's a good point. I guess we have that name from from the Echo, huh? We didn't come up with that name ourselves. Hmm. What could this like it was be the remnant of? Especially those, you know, huge things. Huh. Well, I could try to figure it out and feel very smart if I actually, you know come up with a, with a clever explanation, or I could just keep playing the game and enjoying it for what it is, and the explanation is, is going to come more or less explicitly in the end. Maybe not explicit at all, and then I can still try to, you know, interpret, but honestly it's not really... Well, I mean, <laughs> maybe it's an odd thing for me to say, because the process of, of let's playing, you know, recording let's plays rather than just playing for myself does lead me to talk a lot, of course, because that's just part of it. But um, normally I don't really like to to overthink or overanalyze things much, and I just enjoy things for what they appear to be without worrying too much about any hidden meanings. And of course it's, sometimes it's fun to speculate. And more, some things lend themselves to speculation more than others. Oh, anyway, we'll we'll just drop down here for now. That much I can say for sure. Holy crap! And gravity shifts, and we uh, try to find safe land, and we just barely did. Holy moly! Get out of here, you little jerks! Actually, come back. Oof! What? 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 What are you doing? <laughs> Get out of here! Don't shoot your spikes onto land. Okay. That somehow worked. Right. We got almost all the different kinds of enemies around here. We also have... This. Oh. Wait, they don't normally have, like, direction markers on them, do they? Have they? No. Surely not. Actually... That should make things easier. No, I'm not so sure. Yeah, this is definitely helpful. I guess I could try killing those. I mean, obviously, only one direction makes sense here, right? Only hitting it from here. That allows us to get up there. The other way... Not only is it awkward to hit from the other side... Like, I'm gonna try it anyway, just to see. Yeah, that's just... <laughs> just, uh... Gets shot right into the wall and doesn't go anywhere. Right. But some of them have had more than two possible locations or, or directions. So, yeah, I don't know. Ah, uh, we can't go that way. What's over that way? It's over this way. Some health. Ah, right. That barrier that I didn't see. Um. Okay, sure. Let's not land in the acid. Camera's being a little bit weird here. Ooh. Ah, we got a charger. Got ourselves a charger. Oof. 
Can we please hit you? Thank you. Don't. Oh, not sure. What happened there, man? Oh god. He's getting stopped by this little rock outcropping. Good for us. Holy moly. Wow. Also, lots, lots of plasma. Lots and lots of plasma. Um, that guy's just floating over there somewhat harmlessly, so I guess I'll just leave him alone. Ah, cash. There we go. Finally. Okay. Alright. Oh. And... Can we see it? Maybe up there? Well, I don't see it. That goes down somewhere. It's pretty dark. Hmm. This is a bit of a gamble. Oh! Oh! What? That, why didn't I trust the game to get me somewhere useful? Man. Oh no! And I... Well... <laughs> okay. I, I guess that's for the better, ultimately. Ugh. <laughs> okay. You know, why don't we... Do with this thing? Wait. Uh... How do we get over there? Bug, please. I'm exploring. Alright, almost back to full. How do we get over there? I guess... From that one? Pro probably. Possibly. Right, that's that one. Hmm. I, I guess it's possible that that one leads, well, that one leads us into that that hole in the in the wall that we saw earlier. That I feel like we could also try to jump down, drop down into from here, but uh, yeah, riding the rail is obviously the the smarter and easier option. If I don't, if I'm not just being stupid and stop sliding for no reason, um, that could of course be where the cache is. In fact, that would make quite a bit of sense. Just looking at those plasma droplets there, and I wonder... Hmm. I wonder. Okay, anyway, we got that thing over there, we got that thing, we got an electrified railing. Actually, maybe we might... We might need to go inside. I mean, there's a cache symbol, so it's somewhere. Might be. Uh, might be over that way. I don't know. But how would we get there? Not by hitting this in this direction. Yeah, I know. Okay, just trust it. Trust the game. Oh, okay. It's just for the cache. Fair enough then. Before, really? But this is unlike anything I've ever seen. Huh. The density spikes are so erratic. Can't blame the skipper for a premature landing. This thing is hurtling through the galaxy on a direct collision course with our planet. But Tufty and Piet are convinced they have a solution. And I'll take any hope in a time like this. Even a fool's hope. They say they can collapse this whole thing. Render it inert. <laughs> I've gambled on worse sides. Okay, that's very interesting. So I guess maybe the Void Runners as an organization existed before the immediate threat of the Ultra Void. I suppose it being called the Ultra Void does imply that there are other regular voids that they encountered before, huh? Else I could have just called it the Void. Hmm. <laughs> I've been in black holes before, you know. As you as you do, just enter black holes casually. I mean, maybe not casually, <laughs> but still, it's kind of wild. Go, the odds finally caught up to you. Also, have I been wrong? Yeah, actually, I was wrong. We were only looking for two more caches when I said we were looking for three, and this is the first one, of course. That makes sense, right? So he was the, I guess, the veteran of the crew, who had been to all kinds of black holes and didn't really believe that they were. That, that they would be able to stop this one, but figured it's, it was better to try to you know 
to try and possibly fail than to not try at all. Okay, now, where would... I mean, there's a, there's a thing that's a, I mean, a thing, you know, a, an anemone on the wall, I presume. But how do you get there? And what would getting there and activating it and maybe creating a rail that's following this, these droplets, what would that do for you? Huh. Guess I'll worry about that later, for now. I'd like to find out what I'm actually supposed to do. Again, we have a trail leading up to that one, or rather, maybe down from that one. Because surely we can't... Well, yeah, we have no way to direct this one more upward. It just goes the way it does. Which is up that way. Got that thing over there. But I don't think we can just jump to, can we? I don't know, maybe we can. Maybe we can. Although... Hmm. I don't know if I can jump high enough to actually latch onto that ooze. If I don't, I fall. The thing is, that's electrified. How do we get there? I feel like I'm missing something rather obvious. Yeah, okay, this is way too high up. So much for that. And that thing is just right there on the wall. Nothing's obviously leading toward it. There's a crystal right on that wall. I mean, did I? Wait. Didn't I drop down to one of those things? That was maybe on the other side, actually. Yeah, yeah, it was. Okay. Not the other side of this island, but the island on the other side. Other. Can we? Can you please just... There we go. Okay. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, so, I, I mean, I guess I can drop down the wall and try to hit that crystal. That would be nice, but not super crucial. Let's... Take a look up here. Again. And see if I was missing something. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yep, I was. I was missing this rather obvious rail. Okay. I was hoping to, to be able to just latch onto it after activating it. That might have been possible. Okay, we landed on this one. Ah, hit it. Okay, I think we did, successfully. Oh, that... Yeah. I just didn't expect these to extend as far as these do. Well, that explains literally everything. All the mysteries. Immediately solved. Awesome. All the plasma collected like that as well. Well, there's that crystal right there, which I guess we can easily grab. Yeah. Might as well. Grab it right now. 4,500. Very nice, very nice. Alright. Shortcut get. Huh? Another cache, too. Awesome. In fact, the final one. Hmm. Oh? Yeah, that, that will do nicely. Huh. I've lost contact with the team. The last message I received was an incoming transmission from Tufty. With dire news. The whole... Well, apparently... Saving. I trust that woman's brain with my life. And if she says it's... Then I believe her. It's time to cut our losses. Join the evac squadron before they FTL out of here for good. Wait, what? 
The last message I received was an incoming transmission from Tafni with dire news. The whole... What? The whole team dead, I guess? Maybe? Well, apparently it's... Mm, saving? First I thought it's worth saving, but... Does that make sense? Why would they... I trust a woman's brain with my life? And she, If she says it's possible, then I believe her. It's time to cut our losses and join the evac squadron. But, yeah, if, I mean, if he believes it's possible and if... You know, if the, their planet is worth saving, if that's what he was talking about, then why would they... Would he want to evac out? That makes no sense. Let's see, uh, this suit doubles your attack power? What? Uh, I mean, again, combat is such a minor... plays such a minor role. I mean, I'm gonna look at it. Missed our chance to get out of here, Gozam. But I can still fix it. Yeah, I mean, getting out is not really... I mean, it's gonna save your lives, but... You're on this mission to save your planet, right? So your personal... fates... are kind of... secondary? I can't blame anyone for wanting to save themselves, but still. You'd think that they, they knew what they were agreeing to when they, you know, joined this mission. Probably. Anyway, that was... This one. After that, he noticed, or he talked about the malfunction. Arcs of energy. You need to find your crew. You need to see the crustacean and try to barter with them for a scuttlecraft. Yeah, I guess that didn't work out because he never made it out of this area. Finding a ship was a fool's errand. Right. Now the... <laughs> like it's ready to blow. The starseed's looking like it's... The starseed looks like it's ready to blow. Tufty must have miscalculated. I doubt anyone has joined the kid at the rendezvous point. Right. So, yeah, I was... For some reason, Ray was supposed to arrive last and join the rest of the crew after they had install the conduits. Maybe she's like the technician and she was supposed to just activate the thing and calibrate it and I don't know. Although it seems like Tufty was like the brain of the of the operation, so I don't know. But it, then was Tufty even on the planet or in the black hole rather? Or did she like coordinate the, the whole thing from the mothership outside the outer void? That might be the case, right? That would make sense. And then Ray was sent down to to actually just flip the power switch after all the conduits were in place. Or something like that, I don't know. Um, the base of the star seed, and you gather them all and jet out of here before it's before this place gets blown to high hell. Okay, so they, I mean, I guess they had already in, installed the things and they were ready to start the whole, to start the, the star seed, to activate it. And that's why they, they could plan to evac and not forfeit the mission, all right. Wait, something's happening. Uh -huh, it's activating. My god, what have we done? Weird. Okay. Again, it'll probably all make sense in the end. Right, for now. Ooh. Is this... Well, that seems like a very long way down. Holy crap. I guess we are pretty high up here. Wait, this is not where we want to go. We want to... Yeah, we want to go up this way. Obviously. Safe point. Ooh, camera. Huh, yeah, that's interesting. Okay. Well, I'm guessing that way. Yep. That seems to be the right direction. I'll take that health. Thank you. Well then. Get it over that way. Close. Okay, that was easier than expected. I expected this to keep going for a little while longer, but... That was kind of neat with the fixed camera perspective. I mean, again, they they keep finding ways to mix up the formula and keep things interesting. Even with the basic mechanics of the game being relatively simple. Almost done, Sid. Yeah. Between that, you know, between the creative use of the limited mechanics that there are and just the breathtaking construction, the, the level design and art design, and just a general mystery and, and, you know, sense of wonder in this, in this, of the setting. Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm really liking the game. Okay, where am I even going? I guess uh, we're, we're done here, huh? Yeah, we have collected 
the uh, we have collected the caches. We have the suit, which I might or might not have. No, actually, I don't. I've looked at it, but I haven't really commented on it. I kind of like the look of it, to be honest. These uh, prayer beads, like looking things. The kind of in the armor, the armor parts itself look like almost like like wood, which is pretty cool. Like the blue little cape. Yeah, it's neat. It's unfortunate that the effect, you know, the actual set bonus, I guess, isn't that useful. Because again, combat isn't really much of an issue. But, uh, I suppose I can keep using this for the time being and maybe just switch to the, the boost bonus for the actual boss fight, where it's where it might actually matter. It might not. I mean, it's, I'm pretty sure the game is completely beatable with just a base suit, with no bonuses whatsoever. That's... everything else would be very surprising. Oh boy. Gravity. Right, so this was this, this place. This way is another save point. I guess we'll head on over this way then. Okay. Even more plasma. I mean, this is a huge area, so I guess it's not surprising that we end up with a lot of extra plasma from the, just exploring around this one. Can we actually get anywhere from here? Well, yeah, I suppose. We can keep going this direction. We're mostly ignoring these enemies. Yeah. Like this guy is ignoring us for the time being. Not for that much longer, though. This was a little bit awkward because I was still latching onto the to the ooze, but no problem. Wow, and this link this seems like a pretty large area. Um, where's we're also still looking. Ah, okay. Thanks for the info. Um, I was just about to say that yeah, there's this. This seemed like a pretty large area from afar, and I guess it is. Um, but we're not actually looking for any more caches, and only one more, um, only one more remnant. However, we are looking for two more uh, crashed ships, and one is obviously guaranteed to be in this area. Thought for a second there that I might be able to see it, but no, not quite. Uh, I guess I'm gonna. Ugh. Oh no! Don't stop me! <laughs> Don't stop me now. Or any at any time really. The the problem with this with the ooze is you can't boost off it. Because it just you know, you just stick to it. But thankfully that hasn't been a problem. Yeah. Okay, there's even more extra plasma. Checkpoint get. Nice nice. Is that Eider's tower? Oh, wait. Keep an eye out for Ains's crew. That there, I guess. Okay, so yeah, both of the remaining ships are apparently in this area. Good to know. Good to have that confirmed. I mean, I didn't really think that it was possible for me to have missed one of them in the ex areas I've explored because you know they're they tend to be rather visible. So that's neat. Good to have that confirmed. Uh, how do we cross over there, though? Ah, of course. Via one of these things. And they do indeed have markers on top. But yeah, again, surely some of them have had more than two possible directions to activate. Is this useful at all? It doesn't seem like it. Oh, except it totally is. Absolutely is. Or 
What's up here, though? I guess the blue glow I saw was just this health pack. Okay, so maybe one shuttle is in this direction. Oh, actually, this might be the where the, where the remnant is. Yep, in fact, I can see the, the thing right there. The first needle, or whatever. I guess needle is a pretty good name for it. If I do say so myself. So that's just what they look like to me. Okay, once again, we have a pad to activate with three switches, it looks like. Is that right? Yeah, one is right here and two rails are leading into it. One actually goes through acid, which is not amazing. Do we need to deal with that? I mean, most likely, yes. Is not going to like this. Right, also the, the ship. Where is the ship itself, actually? Is it just... Is this the ship? Oh yeah, I guess it just completely... Burrowed itself into the base of the structure. Yeah, didn't even recognize it at first. Well, here, the crewman, of course, well, burnt. Yikes! Electrocuted, perhaps. Yeah, that would make sense, right? With these exposed cables. Nope. A collection of smoking carapaces. The rigid patterns of electrical current have been etched into the shells. Yikes! Simitoa squad failed report. We have crashed into the remains of a capsized ship. Our generators were damaged in the crash, and we are running low on power. The crew and I are going to climb up these damaged cables to get mm. a better survey of the area. And every little one of them died? I mean, okay, the first on the first crash side, they all were basically ordered to take a bath in those acid pools. Because their commander was an idiot. Uh, the second one... They just all happened to be crushed by the same collapsing structure. Okay, sure, they were all working in the same in the same spot, so that that's understandable. But did they all literally climb the same sparking cables at the same time? Not a single one happened to be, you know, still on the ground when the rest of them were electrocuted. Okay, I mean, obviously it's what happened, so we have to accept that. Climbing in the dark is a great oh. way to get everyone killed. So I have sent Private Grimclaw to see if they can reactivate the ship's power drives. Hmm. This must be one of Ames's yeah, but how did they end up all dying then? I better let them know what I found. Straight to the Ukelagon. Admiral, I... Are they? They're... Uh, well... Fried. Ah, of course. Our journey has been a long one, and burnout is only natural. Yeah, not not in this way, though. No, I mean literally. They seem to have gotten electrocuted by some of the broken ships here. I'm sorry, Ames. They're gone. That's truly unfortunate. They, I bet they smell delicious, though, for what it's worth. Oh, sorry, that was in bad taste. We in the Maverick fleet sign up to be disposable, so others do not have to. It is never easy to be reminded of that. Hmm. Rest in peace, Simathoa squad. Welp, that's another one down. Uh, pleasure craft, what? I discovered the crew that had all been electrocuted. Here's their final field report. Yeah. Okay. Well. Mm, maybe they don't smell delicious. On second thought. <clears throat> okay. Well. What are we trying to do? I guess, well, activate this jump pad, will, which will allow us access to the upper reaches where we'll need to go. Right. So, let's follow this obvious path first. Okay, this one seems extremely straightforward, actually. Another viewpoint. No one will believe me when I tell them about this place. Hmm, I mean, are you taking pictures? Also, not really sure how uh, who you're planning to tell about this, if I'm being honest. Did we hit this one? I, we absolutely did, and I think I messed it up at this point. Yeah, I'll try again. Also, 
Conveniently, these uh, rails are not actually electrocuted, or electrified, rather, when I activate them. Oh god. Okay, I did it. No problem. What? Okay. Land here. There's a plasma crystal over that way. Oh. Is this the one that was sent up first? Hmm. Who knows? We'll never know. Uh, wait. You're supposed to go up that way. But where's the next needle? Oh. Okay, now I see it. Yep. That seems pretty far. How do we get there? I guess... This way. Not up the ooze, which would slow us down. Ugh. Okay. Uh, wait. No! Okay. Alright. Almost. Didn't expect that one to be that close. Yeah, it's... I mean... Some of these are easily gettable on the first attempt, but some of them not so much. Just because it's a little bit less obvious, I guess, where the next one is going to appear. Sometimes it's pretty straightforward. Oh god, there wasn't a lot of time here on this one. Um, yeah, oh, I got turned around a little bit too much. Almost. I was almost able to, to save it there, I think. Almost, but not quite. This one's a little bit awkward. This one's super awkward, actually, with the camera just turning around. Unless, unless I'm supposed to actually land on the rail and get shot back up right here. Does that put me where I need to be? I think it was around here, so maybe, maybe, maybe once again I just need to trust the game actually to just point me in the right direction. But yeah, after the the one up there in the middle camera automatically shifts backwards, basically. Yeah, this this has to be intentional, obviously. I felt like that was too little time, but no. It's obviously just fine. Okay, good. Yep. Trust the game. The game knows what's best. Well, now this guy is active. Rust Dragger. Massive anomaly. Maybe it's not... Yeah, it's actually not a... Not a ship that he's using. I wonder... What that thing used to be. Well, it's moving around now. But safely away from us for the time being. Giving us enough time to... Finish up exploring this place. Very nice of him. Oh, you know what? Ah, uh, wow, these these guys just their perfect ability to predict where I'm gonna be. Quite impressive. Yeah, I wonder. I mean I hadn't really paid attention to it, but yeah, of course, this this is obviously a huge rusty shipwreck. Maybe the thing he's using as a sword is actually used to be part of this or something, or something similar. I guess it could be. And apparently the the crustaceans are the inhabitants of this planet, right? So they built both these these things. I guess it's just just an older thing. Um, both both these things, these ruins and these rusty looking structures, as well as the uh, you know the the sea creature design airships or or, or spaceships or whatever that we've been seeing. Maybe that is just a more, you know, more recent generation of of vessels. Or I'm got something wrong and it's not actually the same species or not or they're not actually from this planet. I thought so though. I don't know. No, they were definitely talking about the you know, their famous, the world famous or I guess inter interstellar famous uh, hot springs or healing springs. Yeah. 
anyway. Do I need to climb back up there? No, not for three plasma. I think we're fine. Almost up to 5k. So we're basically almost set for the even for the the boss fight after this one. Which is kinda crazy. Can we make it here? Oh, amazing. How were we actually supposed to go up here? I'm not sure. From oh yeah, from down there actually. Oh, well, I suppose we're not actually where we need to be on closer inspection. Yep. There's this thing that we're gonna direct in the other well, direction. leads us here. Kill that guy just because we can. Get him out of the way. Um, do I? Want to drop down there? Hey, big guy, don't... Don't worry about me for the time being. The ship. Oh yeah! Wow, the ship managed to somehow crash into the the upper part. Hi there. The upper part of this tower. Hmm. And get stuck there. I can already see the dead crew. So if there was any left, any any doubt left, and of course there wasn't. Whether we would find them alive. I mean, come on. I, it doesn't seem like finding a way up is a big problem in this case. Yeah, not at all. What do we have here? Floating scraps of feathers, what? Where'd those come from? Huh? What is up with that? Were they transporting pillows? I guess we'll learn soon enough. Oh, we only see one dead person. Uh, I don't know, maybe... Hmm. Hard to tell. What? None of them made it. Yeah, okay. At first I thought she said some of them made it. No, of course not. The crew has been crushed by their own ship. No survivors. How did they manage to get crushed by their own ship, by the way? Not your squad, your report. Our ship has become wedged into Ida's Tower of Pleasure. By some incredible stroke of good fortune, we seem to have landed in a massive pile of ah. pillows, which cushioned our fall. Okay, that explains that, I guess. Also, Ida's Tower, Ida Downs... Like feathers, yeah? Okay. Uh, we seem to have in landed in Mr. Polo Paris, yes. I think if we all work together, we can use our strength to lift the ship over our heads long enough to unwedge it and fly out of that. Mm. What? He sneezed and that toppled the whole thing? Looks like an away team. Oh no. I should let Ames know. Ray to Ames, Ray to Ames. I found Nathia squad. Just tell me. It seems like they were crushed by their own ship. Curse this bastard void! It is our duty to ensure that their sacrifices were not in vain. <clears throat> All right. Almost got it. Ames, are you there? Uh, thanks to your efforts, I've triangulated the position my away teams were converging on. The signal is coming from under the Senate pavilion. The first citizen, in their wisdom, must have built a bunker to keep all Cyclodorians safe. Right. <clears throat> Almost forgot that we were actually looking for... You know, that we actually had an ult ultimate goal past just finding the away teams. Well, underneath the bunker. Or a bunker underneath the pavilion. Okay. Rest easy, Nathia squad. Philosopher King. Pleasure craft. Operating instructions. Dissolved in a pool of acid. Scope the crew crushed beneath their own ship. Here's the final field report, right? The downed tower. Ha. Huh. Funny. Under the pavilion, unfortunately, all of Ames uh, Ames's away teams were dead. They did not die in vain though. Ames was able to determine the location of the distress signal. It's coming from under the Senate Pavilion. There must be some sort of entrance or tunnel nearby. Nearby the pavilion, right? Not nearby here. Because we could have found these reports in any order, of course. Well then, uh, do we get a marker for that? Probably not, because this is not 
officially our quest, yeah. We got a marker for that guy. Right. Speaking of which, I mean, I suppose I can probably, possibly need to deal with that big guy before I do any further exploration in the area. So, I guess I'm gonna do that next. You know, hmm. Yeah, you know what? I am going to just warp right now, switch back to the presumably more useful suit, even though I do look, uh, do like the look of this one. Yep, yep, yep. That's fine. Change suit. Uh, versus, was it? Yes. How can we help you? I'll get you back online, Sid. That's fine. Uh, we also get a final, or not final, health refill, but get a full health refill here. Right, uh, so we're gonna fight that guy next time and then look for the way underneath the pavilion, I guess. So a little bit left to do in this beautiful area before we are forced to move on and into the awful sounding, possibly final lava area, I guess. But yeah, with these these amazing pictures, I'm signing off. As always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.